I'm excited about this. Welcome back. It's Access Daily. And our next guest is starting so many projects that we love, from Oppenheimer to Stranger Things. Please welcome to the show our friend Matthew Woo! Modine. Hey. Looking so cute. My man. Matt, and I got to talk about this because we were just talking about it off air, but we're kind of from around the same neighborhood. Yeah. I'm from Chula Vista, and your parents own a Mexican restaurant in Chula Vista. They Dog did. Don Don Roberto's, Don right? Roberto's. Oh my God, that's crazy! You is have it, to. Is it still there? Yeah, it, no. It, is it still? It, is uh, it, it's gone. It's gone, right? Yeah. But it was there forever. Growing yeah. up, I'm like, oh my gosh! I used to think that was a rumor, <laughs> but they really did, because he's from Imperial Beach, which is a little town right next to Chula Vista, like neighboring cities. So that was the biggest thing that's down the there. That's the coolest thing that Matthew yeah. Mudine down there. So cool down there. I mean, it's funny because when you say you're from San Diego, it sounds posh. Right, but Chula Vista and IB, you know. No, we're border town. Yeah, yeah, it's not. It's I love not, it. Yeah, uh, every it's a time vibe. exactly. I see you. I bring up Vision Quest, and I know it's Mario's favorite movie too. When you were making it, did you know what this movie was really going to mean to so no, many people? No, you never, you never do. You, you. But the the lesson is, is that you always have to do your best because you don't know. You know, so every right. every project, every time you sit down to have a conversation with somebody, be the best you can. You know, do the best you can. And you know, just show up and and do the best you can. So that that's how I've approached my career, and and just do the best you can because you never know what's going to be successful. Loud and Swain, you were so great oh, in that. The soundtrack, that soundtrack was incredible. There was never a better I'm soundtrack. I'm getting ready to show my kids to watch it again. That's how you know it holds up. Yeah. By the way, speaking of holding up, congratulations. You were in Oppenheimer, of course, yeah. which is in, uh, yeah. one best picture. Yeah. What did you do uh, on Oscar night? Oh, on Oscar night, I was watching the New York Knicks and the <laughs> Philadelphia 76ers. I yeah. love, oh, look at you courtside right there <laughs> oh. on Oscar night. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. That is fantastic. That's Caleb from Stranger Things. He he loaned me those glasses. He said, you, you got to look, he said, you got to look fly. <laughs> and you look, it worked. You look fly. Uh, we loved yeah. you on Stranger Things. I did Thank not you. like that doctor. was a nasty, nasty doctor. But is it true you're going to officiate Millie Bobby Brown and Jake Bon Jovi's wedding? I am. I, I, have, wow. I have one of those licenses to, to, to get uh, people married. And, and Millie thought it would be great. And then Jake said it would be a great idea. So I wrote the wedding vows. And um, they, they love what I wrote for, for them to, to join hands and become a husband and wife. That's so, hilarious. Yeah. Have you done this before? I've done it one time before, yeah, during COVID uh, we, uh, in upstate New York. I, it was an outdoor wedding, and, and it was it was weird. But it's <laughs> it, it, it's such a beautiful thing to be able to to join two people in holy matrimony. Yeah. You know, it's a it's a special. I've been married 44 years. Wow! wow. Yeah, that's and in awesome. Hollywood. Yeah, it's it's that's amazing awesome. when it works. Yeah. It's awesome when yeah. it does. That's cool. You're like a veteran now. Yeah, I'm a veteran. <laughs> no, but I mean, at officiating these weddings yeah. now, that's yeah. fantastic. Speaking of Stranger Things, is there a way to fit you into this next season? Because people can come back. Because well, you're always yeah. in the flashbacks too. Yeah, that's right. I mean, I think the interesting thing about Dr. Brenner is how did he get that job? I mean, how do you go to the government and say, I want to, I want to do these experiments with young kids and t t <laughs> teach them, you know, psychic powers and stuff like that? How did he get that job? So my question always was. Did he have, was he number zero? You know, was he the first guy? Did he have, oh. yeah, did he Genesis, possess that right. kind of power to be able to be able to teach people? And there was a moment in season four where she tries to do her power <coughs> against me. And I right. say, you didn't think it would be that easy, did you? Yeah. yeah. And I thought that that was opening the door to a possibility that. Uh, uh, that All right, I have a little uh, more uh, sympathy for the bad doctor. Well, I always thought, like... I always assumed that the government just recognized that you had a talent or a special set of skills, mm. and then they tapped into that you lured you in. You scared me. Oh, I didn't so who like knows? that. It's ambiguous. I love it. What love you it. did to that? Was it the bunny or the cat? Oh, that got me. Hey, he's doing he's doing real work <laughs> over there. Speaking of which, tell us about uh, you've got a new movie now, Hard Miles. Hard tell, Miles. Tell us yeah. about that. Hard Miles is a, based on a true story about a man named Greg Townsend who uh, he was a bicyclist and he thought if he could take these four uh, troubled youth. And, and teach them how to weld their bikes, build their bicycles, that they'd be making something that they'd be proud of, hmm. and then Start take them the on this long ride, 762 miles oh, from wow. Den Denver, Colorado, to the Grand Canyon, that he'd be able to help them see that the world is bigger than the, 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 the troubled home that they were in, that the gang that they were in, the eating disorder that one of them has. And, and help them, like, you know, when you put a horse and they put the blinders on the horse, that it, it blocks out their peripheral vision. So by taking these kids on the ride, 
he helped them to see that it was the world was much bigger and much better yeah. and more beautiful than they ever imagined. That's a great and story. he's subsequently taken thousands of kids on rides across the across the United States. So it's based on a true story. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Kind of Vision Quest esque what wrestling uh, did to it save. Is. I'm serious, like the focus on a sport to get you out. Yeah, of this what's guy like that now. I'm playing is kind of like what if Loudon Swain grew up and became a guy working in a place that's like that. Cool. Yeah. It's yeah. that inspirational. Yeah. How much riding have you done prior? Well, you know, when I moved to New York City, I couldn't afford a subway token. So I was selling lemonade one day on the, on the street, and this guy rode up on a Raleigh beach cruiser and threw it on the ground and ran. And I had five gallons of lemonade that, to sell. And I said, if I finish selling my lemonade and the bike is still here, the bike is mine. So that bicycle got me from, you know, instead of doing two auditions a day, I, I might have been able to do five because I could get around really quick on the bicycle. And I didn't have money for a subway. so. Um, that bicycle might have been the thing that was helpful in me having a career. Oh, I that. love that you were selling Full lemonade stuff. in New York City. <laughs> Who stopped for you, Matthew? Full yeah. circle yeah. right there. Yeah. yeah, 42nd Street in Lexington. How much did you sell? That's, 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 that's a great area, too, right there. <laughs> uh, we actually have a clip uh, of the movie, so oh, let's God, check it out yeah. real quick. I bet you had a clip of me selling lemonade. I want that. would be even better. <laughs> you think I don't know what's going on inside your head? Huh? Right now, you feel helpless. You think this is all pointless. You think this is all a big joke. If you want to get in the van, go ahead. It's right there. You can limp across the road right now, and none of this will have mattered. Or you could set a goal. You can set a goal today and know that nobody told you what you could or couldn't be. I'm in it. Yeah. I love these. I'm fired up right now. I am too. Now. It's yeah. so awesome. Congrats we on everything. Some hard miles right we, we did some hard miles while we were making the We did some hard miles. I bet. You yeah. have no choice but to get in shape right yeah. there. Ice cold lemonade on your next visit, <laughs> yeah, that, my friend. That's right. We got yeah. that for you. Yeah. Be sure to check out Hard Miles. It's going to drop in theaters nationwide Ooh. in April.